you ever come outside and you see your Mercedes Benz low, just like this, and you have aromatic suspension, you know what this means, that your system has been compromised. Air has leaked from the system, either from the compressor, the valve block, a line, or a strut. It's pretty much that simple. We oftentimes overcomplicate this because we don't know and we depend on a Mercedes dealership or some type of independent shop to help us figure the issue out because we know it's gonna be expensive if Mercedes touches it. So what is a way that we can diagnose it or, or, or kind of isolate the issue or figure this problem out for ourselves? Well, to start off, ask yourself, how long does it take for it to drop? Is it dropping immediately within a few hours, a few days, a few weeks? Because that can also determine the, uh, the point of failure in your system, should I say. Now, an easy way to figure this out is to also ask yourself, is it low all the way around evenly? is one corner lower than, the, than another corner. How can you tell? Well, simply looking at the top of your tire and the fender. Look at the distance. Use the hand trick. What's the hand trick? Checking your hand, just like so, and putting it in between and counting the fingers between the tire and the fender. You see here, I have two fingers between the top of the tire and the fender that I can fit in there. Now I go on this side, and do the same thing. I, I'll take two fingers. Whoa, look at that. It's a lot more space, isn't it? I can put four fingers in between here. Now let's go to the front. Now that's the back. Now let's go to the front. Hmm, three fingers. Three, four in the back, two in the other corner, passenger side. Whoa, whoa. I can barely get two fingers, barely get two fingers. So this is the lowest point. This is the lowest point, meaning this strut is likely the culprit. That strut is compromised and has lowered the whole vehicle. It's more low on the passenger side. That's why the passenger side, even the rear is lower than it is on the driver's side. See, all you have to do is do a little bit of uh, measuring and paying attention and uh, not necessarily calculation, but it's a way of diagnosing or figuring out where the problem exists. And in this case, the problem is on the driver's side, I mean, passenger side front. I know that because that's the lowest point, the lowest corner of the vehicle. So no matter what corner of a vehicle drops down, if a strut fails, it will pull that side down the most. The whole vehicle will lower to compensate. Just like if you had a flat tire in one corner, the whole vehicle is gonna sit lower, more on that side where the flat tire is. It's the same thing with a compromised strut or a strut that is just lowered. It will pull the whole vehicle down more on that corner than the rest. Now I know that if I start this car up, it'll raise up because it takes probably, in my case, this is my wife's uh, SUV, her GL 550. Uh, in her case, it takes, um, Sometimes a week for it to drop down, sometimes a few days. So that's an issue, uh, that's an issue. And the longer I let it go, the, 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 the shorter those intervals will be. It will drop down faster and faster before next thing you know, it might not even raise back up again. It might drop down in a day. Next thing you know, when you park it, you come back out an hour later, it's dropped down. See, that means that it no longer can hold pressure. More than likely that strut is, it needs to be replaced. I've dealt with that on this one. Uh, in that case, it was making a lot of noise. But in this case, it's not making any noise. It's holding pressure when it uh, inflates when I operate the system. But when it's sitting stagnant, when it's parked, when the vehicle's turned off, it drops down. So uh, that is an issue that I need to resolve. I need to replace the strut. So that is one way of finding out, you know, your issue. You can use the, the bottle with soapy water, the spray bottle. You can spray lines. You can spray the... Um, um, the, the compressor, uh, you can spray 
the strut. In some cases, you can find the leak on the strut. It might be at the connection, at the top of the strut or wherever that line connects. Uh, or it could be internal, like the bladder um, of the strut, which you can't see. So uh, figure that out. But like I said, that's just one little trick of, of, of figuring out where strut is compromised. So if you decide to go to a Mercedes dealership or an independent shop, you can at least say, hey, my front passenger side strut needs to be replaced or is leaking out the front passenger side, you know? So that's just one way of eliminating a bill. You can say, hey, I've already bought the strut. Now, where do you buy a strut from? You can buy an OEM or you can buy an r not strut, which is a rebuilt OEM, or you can buy a cheap Chinese aftermarket, which works half of the time. Sometimes they don't work. Sometimes they work for 30 days. Uh, the warranty might be a year. A year and one day it might fail. I mean, it does weird, you know, it's just what it is, man. When you buy these Chinese parts, sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones. But you have a couple options out there. When I replaced that one, what did I buy? I bought a used, low mileage Mercedes OEM strut. Because of course, they, they're gonna have the best quality when it comes to their struts, their aromatic struts. And so, you know, I decided to go that route, man. I just bought a used one with low miles and it's been perfect ever since. So just be smart how you purchase it. I think mine cost about 400 bucks, three, three to $400. Um, and it worked out for me. That's what I chose to do, all right? So do what's best for you, but you know, that's something you need to think about. Consider uh, where, where are you gonna source your part from? But uh, again, that's one way of figuring out what's wrong with your vehicle. Aromatic was commonly used on the GLs, the E classes, the CLSs, the S classes. I might be missing one or two, but I think those are the primary vehicles that Mercedes used the, uh, the aromatic struts on. And uh, all of them fail eventually. All of them fail eventually. It is what it is. All right, guys, I got work to do. I'll be in touch. Let me go ahead and start this thing up and make sure it raises up. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and then uh, I got the key, hold on. I thought I had the key, hold on. Can I put the key up? I could have swore I had the key in my pocket. Dang, Dang I put the key up. Dang, I don't have the key. So, all right, whatever. I'll start this thing up and I'll go ahead and uh, uh, raise it so it doesn't look like this. And uh, I know what I need to do. All right, guys, you take care. Go to um, Auto Works, I'm out. I'll be in touch with some more videos. Peace out.